In this video I will continue to explore some uh, basic games for uh, CPM version 2.2. I've uh, already started the simulation, it's uh, the same simulation as in the previous video. I've uh, already executed uh, MOV CPM 50 in order to get more memory available. And uh, now I'm going to change the disk in uh, drive B. I'm going to select uh, the second disk image. Okay, so let's see uh, what's on this disk. So again, we have a number of uh, basic games and similar to the previous uh, one, uh, we have a menu.bus and uh, I'm going to start this one. Uh, apparently there is also a Star Trek, so this may be interesting. And yeah, we'll see uh, what's here. Uh, I also want to remind you that uh, this particular simulation has a generic terminal. Uh, this is the one. But uh, it also has an ADM3A terminal. So, if a particular game uh, requires the control codes from uh, the ADM3A, uh, we can switch to this one. Okay, so uh, first I will switch to the B drive, then I'll start and basic from the A drive, and uh, I will start the menu. Okay, so now we see the available games. Uh, so let's start with, I don't know, I'll, I'll start with uh, Star Trek, let's see what's in it. Uh, I haven't played it previously, so it may not work, or there may be something wrong, I have no idea. And yes, I think it's not working actually. Ah, yes, it started. Okay. So it uh, drew... An, uh, a ship, the USS Enterprise, but apparently there is a syntax error in line 530. Okay, so I'm not sure what's the problem here. Okay, I will just go back to menu. Maybe I'll take a look later and if I manage to make it work, I will uh, make a video about it. So let's start with something else. Uh, horse race. Let's see. I'll just start with the first one. Okay, so it says welcome to South Portland High Racetrack. Uh, do you want directions? Yes. And apparently there is another syntax error. Mm. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Okay, let's go back to menu. So, uh, King. I'll just keep a few and let's go to King. Do you want instructions? Yes. Okay. So, congratulations, you've just been elected uh, Premier of uh, Seta de Timu, a small communist island 30 by 70 miles long. Your job is to decide up in the country's budget and distribute money to your countrymen from the communal treasury. The money system is railroads and each person needs 100 railroads per year to survive. Your country's income comes from farm produce and tourists visiting your magnificent forest, hunting, fishing, etc. Half your land is farmland, which also has an excellent mineral content and may be sold to foreign industry, uh, who import and support their own workers. Crops cost between 10 and 15 rounds per square mile to plant. Your goal is to complete your eight-year term of office good luck. So you now have this amount of relics in the treasury, uh, 497 countrymen and 2,000 square miles of land. 
This year industry will buy land for 95 rivals per square mile. Land currently costs 30 rivals per square mile to plant. How many square miles do you wish to sell to industry? I don't know, let's say 1000. How many rivals will you distribute to your countrymen? So uh, remember each one needs 100 to survive so let's try to uh, give something for everyone so 49700 okay uh, how many square miles do you wish to plant uh, so we have 13 per square mile uh, we still have uh, about 10,000 of these railroads so hopefully uh, we can plant 800 sorry but you've only uh, zero of farmland okay <clears throat> but let's try smaller value no okay so then zero how many rivals do you wish to spend on pollution control? Zero. Poof. And so <laughs> it seems that uh, everyone died of carbon monoxide and dust inhalation. Uh, okay, but uh, some workers came, uh, others left. Uh, okay and so on so forth so due to this extreme mismanagement you have not only been impeached and thrown out of office but you have also been declared national think <laughs> okay and uh, <coughs> so the program enter ended with a break okay uh, well let's try something else uh, let's try them so uh, this is a lunar landing simulation uh, have you flown an Apollo LEM mission before no which system of measurement do you prefer well let's see metric Okay, apparently there was a lot of text that I wasn't able to see. Uh, so let's see, input time interval in seconds, percentage of thrust, attitude angle in degrees. For example, uh, 10, 65, minus 60, okay. To abort the mission, enter 000. zero, zero. Uh, and output provided is total time in elapsed seconds, height in meters, distance from landing site, vertical velocity, horizontal velocity, fuel units remaining. Okay, so uh, I actually have no idea what I'm doing here, but uh, I will just enter the values from the example 10, 65, minus 60. So presumably it's computing, yes. Uh, we have here some values. Uh, so I think this is interesting because this is the height so uh, let's try more seconds for example uh, 100 seconds trust 100 uh, angle I don't know let's say zero Okay, so unfortunately, it seems uh, we are farther away. Okay, so maybe let's try 100, 100 uh, minus 90. Don't know. And it seems they managed to move it even further away. So, yeah, I, I will just abort it. Do you want to try it again? No. Okay. 
too bad the space program hates to lose the experienced astronauts <laughs> okay let's load the menu again so let's try letter letter guessing game i'll think of a letter of the alphabet a to z try to guess my letter and i'll give you clues as to how close you're getting to my letter okay i have a letter start guessing well let's try b too low try a higher letter so it's like a number game but with letters let's try uh, t try a lower letter uh, G. you got it in three guesses good job let's play again okay start guessing well I really don't want to guess anymore I don't know uh, what I should press to end let's try zero now okay then control C load menu one let's try something else uh, for example life so enter your pattern I don't know what pattern but let's try ABC My <laughs> I really don't know what this is ok let's control C I will not try life too. Uh, let's try love. A tribute to the great American artist Robert Indiana. His greatest work will be reproduced with a message of your choice up to 60 characters. If you can't think of a message, simply type the word love. Okay, love. Okay, and it uh, draws something using ASCII art okay well let's try again that's uh, this is a bit interesting uh, let's enter something uh, simpler like I don't know AB okay but it still says uh, okay it says love but it's drawing with the letters that I introduced okay let's try it one more time uh, your message uh, let's try a simulation okay mm -hmm. so it uh, writes the word and leaves spaces for love okay that's pretty interesting let's load the menu again uh, there is also love p but uh, this presumably would uh, write to the printer so there is no printer attached to this simulation lunar i'm guessing is similar uh, to the other one uh, let's try for example mastermind uh, you should uh, careful that it's missing an I this is because uh, in the file name there are only eight characters allowed so number of colors okay that's three let's try three number of positions three rounds three so uh, what we have here uh, round number one guess my combinations and we have the colors black white red and uh, they are I think described by BWR okay so guess I don't know uh, let's try R B W you have zero blacks and two whites so I'm guessing I got two of these correct um, but which ones I'm not sure uh, let's try uh, BWP 
R. You have one blacks and one whites. Hmm. So I really have no idea how to play this game, but let's try just another one. W uh, R B. Two blacks and zero whites. I really have no idea what to enter here. Uh, w B R. Zero blacks and two whites. Um, okay. I, I think I'll just press Control C and return to the menu. So maybe let's try poker. So welcome to the casino. We have we each have two hundred dollars. I'll open the betting before the draw. You open after uh, when you fold bet zero to check bet point five. Enough talk. Let's get down to business. So uh, your hand. Uh, I have two of hearts, two of spades, six of spades, five of spades five of diamonds open with 26 what is your bet I don't know let's try 30 see you and raise your 9 what is your bet uh, see you and raise you 33 what is your bet uh, 33 now we draw how many cards do you want let's try one what are their numbers uh, I'm guessing three to change this six of spades your new hand uh, so I have two of hearts two of spades six of diamonds five of spades five of diamonds Taking one card, what is your bet? Uh, point 0.5 I think was for check. Okay, I'll bet 35, what is your bet? Okay, let's just do it. Now we compare hands. Uh, and this is the computer hand. And so you have two pair and I have a pair of six. You win. Okay, now I have 58 and you have 342 okay uh, yeah but I will uh, stop playing this one so let's load the menu again run uh, let's see this uh, sine wave for example uh, apparently there is a syntax error <laughs> this seems to be actually a comment a remarkable program <laughs> okay um, okay i'll load the menu again All right. uh, 3d plot okay so it's uh, drawing something with stars i wonder if it looks better this one no it looks kind of the same Just wait for the drawing to end. So it ended. Okay. Go to menu again. And let's try one last game. Uh, let's say stars. Looks interesting. Do you want instructions? Yes. I am thinking of a whole number from 1 to 100. Try to guess my number. After you guess, I will type one or more stars. The more stars I type, the closer you are to my number. One star means far away, seven stars means really close. You get seven guesses. 
Okay, so uh, again, it's a number guessing, but uh, it doesn't say if I'm uh, too low or too high. So let's see what happens. Let's try 50. So three stars, I'm guessing, should be there. Uh, let's try 40. More stars, so I'm getting closer. 30. Even more stars. Okay, 20. Uh, the same number of stars, I'm guessing it's in between, let's try 25. Okay, so you got it, five guesses, let's play again. Okay, uh, well, no, I'm not going to continue. And actually, I think I will just end uh, the video here, but uh, maybe in the future I'll explore some more of these uh, basic games. So thank you for watching and uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.